Okay, so just a quick video on how to uh, export 4K to 8K video in Premiere Pro, which I've got Premiere Pro 2020, which I think you might need. So uh, here's a lot of frames of uh, panoramic 360 frames I've brought out of Unreal. Um, so if I just look at the properties down here, uh, we can see details wise that it's 61443072. So, uh, I've just dragged all of these frames into Premiere Pro, to the, the uh, Media Bin. So, if I just, so number one, basically, if you've got single frames and you drag them onto the timeline, it'll assign a duration to them, and usually that duration is about five seconds, which is obviously stupid. Um, so, if you just select all of the frames you need, and then you go to speed duration, uh, and this means that this will apply these duration settings to all of your static single frames uh, and I've kind of uh, I think I've rendered it at 30 frames a second but for some reason uh, instead of being 0 0.03 per frame it needs to be 0 0.01 to look normal so um, that's kind of a decent setting if you want uh, to be bringing single frames in for them to be running at 30 frames a second if that makes sense okay so let's just grab all of them and then drag them in sometimes it doesn't recognize them thanks uh, so just get all of those drag them in um, and so I've got this this uh, squeeze right down here so I can actually see the frames so these uh, are all the frames. So now if I go to export, uh, uh, I've now forgotten how to export, export media. So if you go match sequence settings, um, it's not giving us, it's giving us 1920 times 960, which isn't correct, obviously, because it's come in at 4K. Well, it's coming at a high resolution and it's not um, mirroring that so but this is um, one of the things you need to do is if you go to sequence sequence settings and you go to editing mode custom um, and you basically just do this you basically just need to go to editing mode custom and then if you then go to uh, it'll recognize if we go to H.264, it then recognises for some reason, as long as this is on H.264, uh, for some reason it recognises the the um, the size of the frames all of a sudden, which is quite useful, obviously. So that means that we can now export this at a, a high resolution or a 4K resolution. Okay, thanks.